All right, we're working on the guillotine uh, from the front headlock. It's a technique I like to use a lot in training as well as in competition. Uh, so some of the details here I use to finish are first, I start with a nice tight headlock where I'm controlling his chin, pulling his body or his head into my body like a running back would hold a football. So I wanna have nice tight control here. Now my other arm is gonna block here on his other arm while I would stay sprawled out with all my weight coming down with my shoulder right through the center of his shoulder blades. Now I want him to think that I might spin behind and take his back because a lot of times I will. And if he's worried about that, then it becomes easier for me to sit to my guard. What I'm gonna do is practice locking my hands right as I come down, my knees coming up, and I'm getting my leg all the way over. Now from here, I'm gonna shrimp and get my leg all the way out to close guard. I wanna make sure, turn a little bit. I wanna make sure that I'm not just squeezing back where his head can pop out. I wanna keep my shoulder forward here. Really trying to put my shoulder forward if you can see his hairline, that means his head might pop out. So I keep my shoulder forward, keep that lock, and then as I walk my guard higher, I'm gonna torque the body in this way. So I'm trying to bring my elbow to my own hip down there. I squeeze to finish the choke. Now again, it's important that you have a nice tight lock here where you can squeeze up into his neck. If I'm holding onto his head properly, I should have his neck trapped here with the pressure. If I let my shoulder slide, his head's gonna pop out. So you really wanna keep this in tight, whether you're doing it with the arm out or with the arm in, the choke is gonna work very similar. One more time. In the front headlock, sprawled out, a lot of pressure. When I'm ready to go, I'm gonna sit to my guard, all the way to close guard, arch and finish.